So it is also one of the selling point of this anime. Like right? I plan that every school will have their own set of uniform. It is derived from Pinafore. It's just that there will be some changes uh, in terms of maybe the cuts, the skirt cuts is different. Maybe the upper part is a little bit different. Maybe some a long sleeve. And then also another noticeable thing is also the ribbon as well. Oh, the different ribbons. I think this is specifically for Malaysian, as in like we have this like form one to form six. I'm not sure, but I do heard like my friends, some of my friends, they say that they their year school year is is defined by one color. Oh. But, but for my school, it was used to be like it defines your your house. We 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 call it like a house, uh, in, 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 uh, sports in, house. In uh, basically, it's like a rumah merah or rumah white. Yeah, 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 basically it's like uh, during the the uh, sports days, right? We we'll divide into four groups, like red, oh. yellow, green. So we are treat with that color. Yeah, we want it to be like kind of special, that kind of thing. Mm, or it's I can definitely. Feel so we decided that if let's say we divide it into like different school years, it will be uh, very easy for the audience or the fans to tell, lah. Basically, uh, we have one question though. Uh, how did you come up with the characters' designs personally? Basically, um, first thing first, I need to determine like what's the character personality is going to be like. Also, her background, that kind of thing. Maybe okay, if, just an example. If let's say the 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 character has some sort of permanent injury, lah, basically that cause some changes to her body, like maybe her eye color is a little bit different. So that has to be taken into consideration first before I can come up with the draft. For the pinafore, we started with our, our own Malaysia pinafore. That I would use that as a base, and then I try to make it more kawaii, basically. Mm-hmm. To summarize a bit, uh, okay, let's talk about the look first. Uh, will it portray the characteristic? For example, short hair maybe a stronger character, long hair maybe an elegant character. Mm-hmm. Uh, will will it portray that way? Then second would be their hidden or their related uh, histories or things that they are the ghosts, meaning mm. their their lifestyles or anything would it uh, affect their behavior or the way they wear? Maybe mm. she likes bunny or something. The, the maybe the, the hair tie that there is a design or something like that. Mm. Yeah. So also like sometimes the color of color of the hair or the eyes will also. Convey another kind of meaning because color, like we, we do study like some of the color theories and stuff, basic color theories. So you do know that okay, so this color will represent something. If let's say, an energetic character, so her hair tends to be more colorful. That kind of thing only happens in anime, right? Mm-hmm. Real life, real life, we don't have that. But uh, in anime, if let's say your character is more outgoing, that kind of thing, maybe the color will be brighter. If you are a very gloomy kind of character, of course, it will be darker. In, in general, as you can see from this picture, there are more characters that we haven't re- revealed. When we are building this IP, uh, it's not just about like the story, not just about like the main character. We have to also put a lot of time and brain power into building a world, a fictional world, I'd say that is believable. In their world, there will be like rival school, that kind of thing. Oh, oh this is interesting. We have a second announcement for today. Besides doing the MV music video, so now we are currently doing a second project as well, a minor sub project, which is a digital comic. So basically, we think that um, people have been questioning about what's the story behind of the Dreamcatchers and then how's the relationship and how's everything started up, how they become. Uh, to work as a team, as an idols, right? So we think that we could maybe create a digital comic and then uh, a prelude story so about how everything started. So the project will be called Project Dreamcatcher First Step. Yeah, just now you have to see. So this is a little bit of sneak peek. As you can see inside, there's a happy moment. There's a very calm, like very meaningful moment. There's like uh, you know drama happening around. So I would say it's it's a very interesting story. So stay tuned. I think we'll be releasing. See how it goes. It's still under production, though. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yep. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm sure it's not just the project Dreamcatcher. People would also want to know more about you, because 
I feel like there's a misconception that people think like, oh, if they're like the creators or like they're the leaders, they must be something special or like that. But in reality, it's just for you guys. I feel like nothing. Not trying to BS or just talk to you guys or like that. You guys just feel like normal, random people out of the blue that are fans of anime, and then、All、just、right. decide, oh, you know what? This might be something interesting to do, and then you guys give it a shot. Like anyone could just do it. It's just whether or not you want to do it. Right, 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 right. Also, as part of the reason we were worried, we, like very in indie kind of projects, like、um, we know that many many peoples like、uh, would like to do something related to anime, but maybe they do not have any、uh, good better platform for anything. So, because even though currently maybe we are small, but at least we are trying to propose maybe a cultural perspective kind of.、Uh, A、uh, way of doing things, maybe as、uh, as a step stepping stone for you to maybe those who like really want to do something. Yeah, we are we are normal people, so you can just directly DM us. <laughs> yeah. Any questions? Anything? So, yeah. yeah. So we also hope by yeah we also hope by doing this project right can I know encourage like local people to maybe dive into any uh anime producing. Are there any things you would want to say to people who are interested, like in creating their own animation studio, or something like that? Like, I'm sure there's a lot of people who have that dream, but then don't dare to like step forward and like, try it out. What would you say to those who are like nervous about trying out or starting out, and they want to actually give it a try, but they don't know how? Like, what would you say to them? Let's say speak of in if you're doing in、uh, currently in Malaysia, right? From a Malaysia perspective, the industry I would say is definitely proceeding, progressing, but uh, uh, it takes time, right? If you compare to、uh, Japan or maybe America, America and USA of stuff, they've been doing like for quite a long time.、Uh, a long time means like fifty or years or ten years.、Uh, we are maybe ten years or twenty years behind. Right. Let's take take a look at the Japan cultures. Like,、um, okay, theirs definitely is anime. So you can see all the posters and the promotional materials whenever you walk around. So it's just like the animation is part of their life already.、Uh, we are in culinary currently in Malaysia, in this country. We are slowly progressing to that stage, but it definitely takes time. So、uh, the struggles might be a little bit higher. So from from an indie perspective.、Um, You really need to your passions. It's the only things that keeps you moving forward.、So、even though you you may face a lot of、uh, troubles, like maybe 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 you need more time to do stuff, or maybe financially you might be a little bit struggles and stuff. So when when those those、uh, problems comes,、mm. uh, only your passions ever kick you to to move、mm. forward. From a more technical perspective, like if you really want to do, because animation is、uh, still a very technical、uh, field.、Mm. But thankfully,、uh, now is the era of、uh, internet and stuff. So a lot of tutorials, I believe, YouTuber tutorials, like how to rig the characters. Even if you want to draw something, draw manga, draw anything, you can just. Google YouTube it out and then you can follow the tutorial. I think if you follow along, I believe definitely you you can kickstart your project. Second is if you really want to know how to do stuff or uh, advice, uh, please personally email us and we'll try to help as well. <laughs> okay, so I will just speak from a more general no sense, not just limited to anime, animation industry in general. I think the first thing is that you have to realize that loving anime or you like to watch anime, it doesn't. Equal that you will love animating it personally. We are quite close with our own university. We still get in contact,、uh, so we do see a lot of students struggle with this kind of thing. So a lot of people they they like anime, they like Pixar animation, that kind of thing. But when they get into the class personally, it's not what they think. You do see a lot of people drop out after one semester. It it it's common that kind of thing. So. I guess the first thing you want to know is: Do you really like animating, or do you really have the passion to create your own animation? Other thing is, animation is not something that can be produced in, let's say, a month. It takes sometimes it takes years just to produce maybe, let's say, ten minutes. If let's say you don't have a Enough manpower, or you don't have time to work on it. I would say that in generally, like in animation, 3D animation, maybe one day you can only animate like three 
to six seconds, depending on how how hard is your sin. Sometimes only one second, so you you can gauge lah how how long do you need to take to produce just one animation. Yeah, if let's say you are really interested in producing anime, uh, it's even harder here because we are not special. Malaysia is not specialized in two D animation, uh, especially like anime anime style kind of animation. So. It will take you a more, much more longer time to get your resources together, and because you don't have anywhere to go to, you have to research it online by your own, or you come up with something that you can work around, so that you can get the same effect. Basically, um, doing animation is like a very kind of time-consuming stuff. So you really need to know you whether willing to have that enough passion to. Uh, most of us is like really sitting in front of computers, maybe ten hours, maybe uh, twenty hours, just to do maybe one second or two second stuff. Basically, if you want to die very quickly, then you can join it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Why? Why so I, honest? I, I, I would. <laughs> I won't put it that way. But but I mean, most of us because um, the the time that we might want to rush things up and stuff, so. Mm. Tend the artists tend to like neglect uh, about their personal health and stuff. Mm. They're getting better. I mean, companies do do just start and take care of uh, good care of the uh, people behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, sometimes uh, the artists when when they're in zone, right, they tend tends to like forget everything. There will there will be time that you even if you don't take break or even if you don't eat, you still won't be able to deliver. That's how big is the uh is the whole industry is. There's time that when where, where things that need to rush. There's time that okay the the the, the stuff are very really well well planned, mm-hmm. well planned and it goes goes along very well. Um. Okay. Maybe I will just uh do a short conclusion. So today, uh, thank you for having us, and then thank thanks for inviting us. I hope um by having this podcast, uh, all the audiences, or all the fans, or if we have fans, <laughs> all the people over there, um, uh, will know more about this project, Project Dream Catcher, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, or the the overall direction that we are going on, going to. The the contact is uh there. No, feel free to contact us or anything, anything. Not not necessary if you are. VTuber or anything, I'm just yeah, people who like to talk or about anime and stuff, we welcome you open handed, open hand. So yeah, that would be all from me. Thank you again for having me, having us on today's thank podcast. You. Honestly, thank you as well for participating in the podcast. Yeah, thank you for having us, and also thank you for um taking an interest uh in our project. Hope that we can grow this um project dream picture together. With the community, yeah. If that is possible, that's why like your feedback or your any con- any kind of contribution will be a bit of project being captured. Honestly, first off, thank you. Yes, thank you very much for agreeing to this call up as well. Like I know you guys have interacted with other VTubers before, but I think this is like the first time you guys have like interacted with one like on the stream or like that. So mm. yeah, it's a huge yeah. honor for this. So yes, mm. thank you very much. So same goes for us. Um, if let's say any other VTuber want to talk to us or interview us, yeah, we are open for that. <laughs> just just DM, just yeah, DM or send us email. You can set a time for that. 